Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So the other day I made a video talking about an audio book club. If you didn't see that video, there will be a link in the description down below. But on that video, somebody left a comment and they were asking how well the Bard mobile application works with voiceover. So I thought that would be a great video topic for today. Uh, I've got my iPad and I also have my Android phone here. So we're gonna see how well the app runs on each device and how well it works with uh, voiceover and talkback. All right guys, so we're down here at the computer, so I'll be able to stream the screen of my iPad and my Android phone. You guys will be able to see exactly what we're doing on the screens, and more importantly, you'll be able to hear much better the voiceover and the talk back as we go through all the motions of the application. All right, so let's get started. Okay, when you first launch the application, you're in the Get Books tab. There are three tabs down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, Get Books is the middle one. The first one is the bookshelf. bookshelf. Tab. Then the second four. one, Selected. Get Books. Get books. Tab. Settings. Tab. Then the Get third four. one is Settings. Bookshelf. We'll go to the Bookshelf tab. tab. Bookshelf. There are several different options in the Bookshelf tab here. We'll let uh, VoiceOver tell you what those are. Edit. Button. Audio books, zero items, audio magazines, zero items, braille books, zero items, braille magazines, zero items, help, one item. So you can see you can do audio books, uh, you can also do magazines, you can do braille books and magazines as well. It tells you how many you have stored on your device here. You already had a book that you were listening to queued up. Uh, whenever you launched the app, it would go right into the book player, and then you could go ahead and listen to your book. Now, if you wanted to choose a different book that you'd already had downloaded, you would go into your audiobooks. That's where audiobooks. those would be located. So you have a couple options in here. Uh, there's an edit to delete. You have a list of books in here that you've downloaded and you can delete them or, or um, sort them, um, do different options like that. You can also search through your list. So you've got you know 15 books on here and you wanna find one in particular. You can sort them by title, uh, by author, author button, latest. and the latest. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna go bookshelf. back. Bookshelf. Bookshelf. Now let's go into the Get Books tab. Get Books tab. Get Books heading. And a couple options in here, of course. Uh, we'll scroll through those. Wish list. Recently added titles. Audio books. Audio magazines. Braille books. Braille magazines. Bard website. Heading. Browse Bard. So you've got your wish list in here. And then you've got a section for recently added items, and there's audiobooks and magazines and braille books, things like that. Then you have the Browse the Bard website. That's where you're going to go to download your books. So we're going to click into that. Select Bard. Get books. Back button. And that launches into the website for the Bard. Um, so, of course, I'm in Kentucky, so this is the Kentucky Talking Books Library. Kentucky Talking Book Library. Image. Now we're going to scroll through this page really quickly because we want to get down to the Find Books section. Bard main page. Recently added books and magazines. A list of books and magazines added in the most popular books. A list of the most downloaded books in the last 30 days. So you can click on those, um, the recently added and the most popular. That might be a, a great way to find a book. Tells you the most popular in the last 30 days. Find books. Find books. That's the heading that we're looking for. So under the find books, you can search for keywords, either something in the title, a keyword in the description, maybe even the author's name, although there is a section for uh, searching by author. So as I said, you can also search by the author's last name. Now, this is kind of a pain because it goes by letter. So if you are looking for John Grisham, for example, you would pick the G's. Now, unfortunately, uh, Grisham, G-R, that's going to be towards the lower end of the list. 
and it is a long list. The G's could be several pages long, and so you have to scroll through all that content. So you do have the option to search for author's last name, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> if you can find the title of the book or a keyword in the description, that's a much easier way to search. So they have books in other languages, um, music books and scores. You can search for those, magazines. So there's a lot of different content on the Bard. It's not just audiobooks. So we're going to search for something here. Search the collection. Text field. Is editing. Word mode. Insertion point at start. We'll search for a Harry Potter that's easy to search for. Harry Potter. Inserted Harry Potter. Search. Pop. Search. Go. Button. Bard books containing keyword. Harry Potter. Heading level one. So then it gives you a couple sections here. It will tell you um, how many books it found with that keyword in the title. It'll tell you how many books it found with the keyword in the author's name. Uh, and then maybe even in the description, I believe. Let's see. Bard books could go to Braille. Audio books. Heading 39 records will be displayed, 17 in the title, 0 in the author, 22 in the annotation, link. Yeah, so it's a, found 17 with Harry Potter in the title, 0 with Harry Potter in the author, and 22 with it in the annotation, which is the description. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, DB 48,437, heading level 4, link. So that just gave us a title of the book, uh, the DB number, which if you have the DB number of a particular book, you can search that number, and that's a very quick and easy way to find that book. And then uh, it says that's the link, so we're going to click on that. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, DB 48,400. Okay, I'll pause it because it opened up uh, the information page for that book, and it's got the description. Um, all the information you're going to want to know, the, the author, reading time, who narrates it, a brief description about it. Then eventually you're going to get down to add to my wish list. Add to my wish list. Chamber of Secrets. Link. And that is what we want to do. Add to my wish list. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So I just clicked on it and it added it to my wish list. Lists books alphabetically by title. Get books. Now we're going to... Button. We're going to go back to the Get Books section, and we're going to go up to Wish List. So there's Harry Potter. I'm going to click on it. Harry Alert. Confirmation. Would you like to download this title? Cancel. But okay. Button. And it asks if I want to download it. And I'm going to say okay. Okay. Wish, wish list. Two items. Downloading. Harry Potter and the Chamber of So Spirit. now it's downloading. Progress. Download. Progress. 70%. Gives you a little progress bar here. And you can. Alert. Download is completed. All right. Download is completed. Okay. I'm going to say Button. okay. Okay. Wish list. Two items. Edit. Wish list. Get books. Get books. Back button. Get books. Now I'm going to go back. Edit. Get books. Heading. Bookshelf. To my bookshelf tab. Browse barred. Bookshelf. Tap. Bookshelf. Select category. And now in my audio books, it says one item. So I'm going to click on that. Select audio books. One item. Bookshelf. Select category, audio, edit, title, and select it. Title, author, later, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Rolling, J, K. So, Harry Potter is in here in the list now. I'm just going to click on it. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Button. And now it opens into the audio player here. Now, second. So you get some general information at the top here, and then the... Uh, media controls are down at the bottom. There's the usual play, pause, stop, uh, fast forward, rewind, all those things. But you have a couple extras. You can skip chapter to chapter. 
You also have a sleep timer, which I use this all the time, uh, and it'll set for, I believe, 15 minute increments. So 15, 30, 45 minutes. And after 45 minutes or whatever you set, it will, the book will just automatically stop. You also have a speed. You can speed up the speech or slow it down if you need to. 48437. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Stop. And your voiceover gestures work here. The two finger double tap will play and pause the book. Now I'll also mention that a new tab has popped up at the bottom and it's the now reading tab. So since we're currently listening to this book, that tab has popped up and we'll always be able to jump back to this player and this book very easily. Another thing I'll mention is that in the settings, you can turn on background playback. So that way, when the book is playing, like 1999, J.K. Rowling, read by Watch Eric Sandvold. This book was originally created for all. I can jump back to the home screen, or the screen can turn off, and the book will continue to play. And once again, two-finger double tap will play and pause the book, even on the home screen here. Be back. Any announcements concerning cassettes do not apply to this recording. So that is the basic controls for the iOS version. Now, once again, the Android version is going to be exactly the same. Things might just look a little different. Okay, so we're in the Bard on Android here, and TalkBack actually comes through the screen capture software that I'm using, so you'll be able to hear it a little bit better than the voiceover. Voiceover does not come through. Now some key differences between Android and iOS. On Android the tabs are at the top, iOS they're at the bottom. One nice thing is also you can use a two finger swipe to swipe from tab to tab. So two finger swipe over, we'll bring the next tab over. Two finger swipe over. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets out of list. We'll bring the media player over. So everything is the same, it just looks slightly different. Browse Bard, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two DB85528, link. So we'll try this one, we'll uh, download this book. So we double click on the title, it says it's a link, and it brings us into the information page that has uh, the description, uh, author, all that stuff. So we are looking for add to wish list once again, which is generally add to my wish list harry potter and the cursed child down Parts towards the bottom Link. that's what we're going to choose book harry potter and the cursed child Parts one and two successfully added to wish list it said successfully added to wish list it's breaking up a little bit but that's just because all the different recording software i'm using but so now we want to go back harry potter harry potter selection by keyword displaying items one through eight now i'm just going to go continue Bard to hit page. back button Bard mobile until we get back to the Bard Mobile. Um, there is a link on that same page to go directly to the wish list, but I think it's just easier to go back. And then we want to find. Recently added audiobook, browse wish list. Browse wish list. Loading, browse wish list. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, parts one and two. Author, Thorn, Jack. Narrator, Ryan Dalusing. Six hours, 23 minutes in list. Okay, so that's the one I want. One to two of two. I'm going to double click it. Checking. Select folder to download. Showing item one of one. Now you remember on iOS we get a little pop-up that asks us if we want to download. On Android here we have to select the folder to download, but there is only one folder. Select folder to download. Audiobooks. It's audiobooks. If you were downloading magazines and things like that, there would probably be audio magazines and uh, Braille books, those folders, but I only do audiobooks, so there's only one folder for me, so I'm going to double click that. Starting download, browse wish list, showing items one to two of two. And it tells us how uh, we get a percentage there at the top of how quickly it's downloading. If you scroll over onto it, it will tell us. Browse wish list, now more options, 28% downloaded. There Harry you Potter go. and the Cursed Child, parts one and two, author Thorn, Jack. Narrator, Ryan Dalusing, 6 hours, 23 minutes, in list. So it told us that it was it was downloaded. Um, I went back to the bookshelf tab, and the very first option is audiobooks. And now it says we have three, so I'm going to click on that. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Roland J. K. 
And uh, the three books that I have currently downloaded on here are, are here. And the third one down, if we go through. Harry Potter and the Chamber. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Parts is the one Cursed Child. Horn, Jack. Now I would just double tap on that and it would load it right into the media player and I could start listening to it. So you see the options are all the same on both iOS and Android. Just uh, slight differences here and there, but still very easy to find books and download them and listen to them whenever you want. All right, guys, so that was it. That is how to use the Bard mobile app on iOS and Android using uh, voiceover and talkback. There's only a few differences between the Android and the iOS version, but they both work very well with voice assistance. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. Thank you again for watching. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.